All right, guys, so we're rushing. It's about to be 12 o'clock, which is checkout time. Just finished my interview. It went bad. I had to take a shower real quick. We packed up. We're good to go. We're just rushing. It's crazy. I've never been as rushed as I feel right now. And oh yeah, her credit card got declined. So we're gonna go take care of that right now. I'll, I'll explain to you guys what happened. Though. So we're just getting things packed up. Oops, I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. Life is. All right, so we made it. Okay, so this is what had happened. I had my interview at 11.10, finished the interview around 11.30. Now, checkout time is 12 o'clock. So I was kind of, you know, like a little disappointed about the way that the interview went. I went to go talk to her about it. And um, and then I called my friend and told her about it as well. Come to find out, she was over here like, pss, pss, it's time, you know? I'm like, oh no. And like, it was, what time was it already? Like 11.41. It was like, yeah, no, 38. So 38. 38. Yeah. It was 11.38. So I was like, okay, I still need to take a shower. We still need to pack up everything. And even then we got a call from, uh, from front desk and they told us that the card was declined and then I was like oh no like I'm just panicking over here she's panicking we're we're like calling the, the credit card company she's wondering why it didn't go through blah 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 so then uh, she realized <laughs> that the reason why <laughs> it got declined was because I locked it when we left San Jose and I didn't think about it until now yeah. it was it was an intense thing but once she found out I was like okay like I could I feel like we were good she was over here thinking like oh do well do they accept cash like we have cash and oh man but luckily everything was good the charges were were fine there wasn't anything weird because he didn't want to give us the receipt, the receipt yeah. which is kind of weird like you don't want to give us the receipt and so I asked for the receipt but it was also weird because the reservation disappeared off the app I don't know is this place a little sketchy I don't know but uh it kind of seems like it kind of seems like it the way that they run it yeah we'll see but um other than that i mean it was a cool little spot it was something different than what we're used to it was cool i don't know I like, it's just I like, yeah i like the vibe they, they the, the vibe yeah but now <laughs> our adventures begin i don't know where we're going what do we do now like this is gonna be crazy other than that oh my god this is crazy like i already did the interview and now we're on back on our trip because it going back going to the interview and preparing for the interview made me feel like the whole like vacation was kind of over it gives me this vibe where i'm like okay well now i gotta work i don't have a day off but now it's like okay now it's our vacation like now from here until sunday we get to do whatever the f we want to do let's go and see what we can get into see how colorful I am? hell yeah then I have my pink leggings under. Pink you leggings. See, right. see you guys. Bye. Want to say bye? Bye, guys. I wonder what was the thought process behind this name, the Big D Construction. Hey, girl. Let me give you the Big D. All right. So we just uh, arrived at Carson Kitchen. So what was that? They said that they, they had a, a swear jar. Mm -hmm. Because like the food is so good that you're gonna swear and you just leave them a tip. Crazy. So I guess we should tell you guys a little bit about our experience. I'll just mention the negatives first because I feel like I should just get that out of the way because I don't want to focus too much on the negatives for this place because it was actually really good. That uh, bacon jam, Havarti cheese, baguette thing, hmm. Too, like, too much balsamic vinegar kind of thing, right? Mm -hmm. That's what it tasted like. Whether it had that or not, I don't know, but kind of like, eh, it wasn't that. And then the deviled eggs were okay. So this is how I rate my the appetizers or the shared little the little shareables. So what I really liked was the crispy chicken skins. Then I liked the veal meatballs. 
The veal meatballs were really good. They were really soft. I don't think she really liked the texture of it. That's why it's probably not going to be high up on her list. Then I like the pork belly. The pork belly was completely different than what I was expecting. I was expecting it to be this fatty, just really like rich of a pork belly, which normally that's what you experience out there. But in this case, it was refreshing. It had this like refreshing it was really good. flavors. It was really good. She doesn't like pork belly, but it was really good. Devil's eggs. Devil's eggs were really good. They had caviar on it and then the bacon jam. That's how I would rate it. And then we had the chicken thighs and the mac and cheese. The chicken thighs were really, really good. Oh, those were, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely would recommend. I am full, so I can't finish it, but it's in the box, and I'm waiting to eat it later on. Uh, the mac and cheese was a little disappointing. It uh, needed a little bit more salt. Pasta was a little overcooked, so it kind of, I don't know, it just, it wasn't what I was expecting. Maybe that's what it is, and it didn't just, it just didn't hold up to what I was thinking. But other than that, it was great. The glazed donut bread pudding was, that really, was good. really good. That was really good. The cocktails were really good. Mm -hmm. Oh wait, uh before that, it was $163 for everything. We had a lot of food. I'm telling you guys, this is it was too much food. <laughs> um you guys shouldn't be doing what we just did. Was it worth it though? I do think it was worth it. Valerie, she was really, really nice. Great person. She was she was always on top of everything. Really happy about the service. Really, really happy about the service. I think my first thing was I really liked the devil's eggs. I thought they were really good. My second thing would have been the crispy chicken skins. I think then it would have been the pork belly. I said the veal meatballs and uh -huh. the, the bacon jam. I didn't really like I didn't like the bacon jam. Uh -huh. Mac and cheese, it was good, but I don't know. What did she say that it was like it was supposed to be like four cheese? Four cheese, yeah. It didn't seem like it was four cheese. Yeah. I tasted like negative one cheese or something. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cool. I mean, service was great. The food was really good. There's just some dishes that we just weren't really happy with, but it's okay. Like, I mean, that's that's the whole thing about going out and trying out new places. So, But yeah, Utah, you guys did pretty good. I like it. The drinks are really good. Really good. All right, see you guys. We got to go. Bye. show you guys you know that uh, I'm at 481 watt hours per mile so efficiency is a little bad uh, we were saying that if we do get stuck out here in the snow we're gonna tweet Elon and be like come on bro like WTF come on. So, I think we're gonna make it I mean there's no superchargers out here but we might have some destination chargers maybe so uh, we'll check it out but uh, on our way to Ice Castles. Let's go check it out. to go to the ice castles and unfortunately it was sold out not only that but the ticket people who were supposed to be there they weren't even there so we just bought some tickets for 9 p.m it's uh 5 25 so we're just gonna go out and see what we can get into before then and then just head back and then check out the ice castles That's a lake right there. But where does it start? Where does the lake begin? Where does the water begin? Am I gonna all of a sudden be stepping on a puddle? I don't know. Look at it. See? So let me find out. Probably by tossing a rock. I'm gonna toss a rock. Let me see. Okay, that looks like it's a. Huh? What'd you say? What? What'd you say? It's a little cold out here. It's a little cold out here. 
on the damn snows. All right, let's see if we're getting closer to the waters. Okay, I'm gonna toss the rock. Okay, that's snow. Um, I think the water's pretty far. Let me see if I can toss just a bigger rock. Okay, that's all snow. <laughs> um, I'm gonna toss another rock. Another rock. Probably one of these. Okay, I'm gonna try it out again. See how far. Oh, that's okay. So it's not as thick as I thought it was gonna be. The rock went through. Never mind, we're out of here. We don't wanna all of a sudden get caught up in the waters of Utah, the snowy waters of Utah. Oh, Target. What did we come here for then? A uh, jacket and possibly some sweats. Okay. Well, you already found one? I should try to. This is a little baby Target, huh? Yeah. 